Welcome to another Bucket Teacher tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install a different um, permissions plugin instead of permissions X. This is called B permissions or banana permissions for long. So you can see I have three jar files on the side of my screen. Um, I'm going to separate this into two, two tutorials, a basic tutorial and then an advanced tutorial just like my other permissions video. So um, the only jar file we're going to need today is the B permissions one. And for this video I'm using the latest um, beta version of B permissions. Um, it's 2.1.4 beta. So um, the latest uh, release version is 1.9.2 which does work with 1.0. Um, but I would use 2.1.4 because it has some new features that I'm going to talk, be talking about. And if you have 1.9.2, you won't have those features. So go ahead and download 2.1.4 beta and uh, open your Minecraft folder. Drag the B permissions jar file into your plugins folder and start your server so it creates all the folders. All right, now that's done, we can go ahead and stop our server or exit out. Um, now open your plugins folder and you'll see you have a couple new folders, B permissions, and we got a stats folder. Um, one we're gonna take a look at today is the B permissions folder. So double click B permissions and you'll see uh, several files in here. Um, so let's start out with the config file and go through that real quick. All right. Um, so lowercase all means it will change your these three uh, config files into all lowercase. I keep this as false because if you have uh, prefixes or something, um, you probably want them capitalized or something. So I just keep this as false. Um, enable debug um, as default. It comes as true, um, which means it will show errors in the console, etc. Um, uh, enable MCMA. I'm not quite sure what this does, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, the permissions type, if you don't like working with uh, .yml files, there's three other choices you can choose from, which are um, JSON, that one, uh, Squill, or BML. Those are your uh, four choices. So I just stick with uh, .yml for this tutorial. Um, suggest similar commands. Now this is an end game feature. If you type something like tray or something, that's a command. It will recommend a tree for you. And so it's just uh, just recommended. So if you spell a command wrong, it'll recommend the one that you were trying to get. Possibly not always, but sometimes. Um, now this command, you can customize your commands. Uh, like for every command that permissions has. So instead of typing global, you can just type G. If you change it to G for your global command, you can go ahead and configure those. Um, but I'm going to be moving on. So pause your video, set up your config file, and then press play again. All right. So let's exit out the config file. And now we got three um, ignore the help uh, um, dot HTML file. Don't need that. Um, world. So you got three different dot YML files here. Um, so this. So it will create a new uh, file for each world you create. So I have three worlds. I got the normal world, I got the nether world, and I got the end world. So let's take a look at the world, normal world. All right, so now you can see it starts off blank like this. And what this default means at the top means uh, what, do you, what group do you want to be default? So what group, when I first join the server, do you want me to be set as? So I'm going to set this as guest. So that means the uh, if a new person joins my server, they'll be set to the group guest. So now let's start the fun part, um, adding a bunch of uh, labels and stuff. 
So, um, it's this plugin is very similar to other permission plugins. So type groups, and now we got our group label, and type users. And now we got our user, users label. So now we got our two main sections of our permissions file. And let's go ahead and space over a little bit. And let's type, and let's type our, our um, first group rank name. So the first group we're gonna make is called guest, since we added that as a default. So go ahead and put another colon, space, go backspace, and then space over a couple times, and type permissions. Now let's hit enter again and add groups. All right, now that we got the uh, main basics down this is basically all you need for one rank it's all you need those three labels so um let's add a couple permissions to them so b permissions comes with two um built-in permissions one of them is b permissions dot build now if uh a rank does not have this permission node they will not be able to build. So if you don't want your guests to build, get rid of this. If not, if you do want them to build, keep this permission node. Basically, that's what it does. Um, all right, so now let's move on to our next rank and we'll come back to guests later and add a few more permissions to it. Let's add a moderator. I'm gonna do the same thing as last time. Type permissions, type groups. All right. Now, this time we're going to add something to the groups first. What groups is, it's basically the inheritance. It inherits whatever groups that are under this label. So let's type guest. That means it'll inherit all the permissions of the guest group, meaning that moderators can build as well. So. Now let's add some permissions to the moderator. Let's add bucket dot command dot teleport. So now the moderators can now teleport using uh, TP slash TP. Um, one other thing I forgot to tell you about B permissions. Uh, B permission does not use the star feature, which what I mean by that is you cannot do this. All right, yeah, you can't do this. It will, it does know what to do if you put that star. So the way to get around this, um, well, there isn't really a way to get around this, but some plugin uh, developers add a permission node that allows all permissions, something like. Um, B actually we'll we'll create a new group for this admin permissions groups and now we'll add under the groups we'll add moderator that way admins can teleport as well also um, now well I was saying earlier uh, pl some plugin developers uh, give a permission node so you uh, so you don't have to use the star so per B permissions does this and they use dot admin so this will give you all the b permission command all the b permission commands instead of a star they just made a permission node with dot admin instead so some plugin developers do that like i know factions does faction dot kit dot admin and that will give you all the faction uh permission nodes so there's other ways uh, of giving uh, rank all the permissions instead of the star. 
So let's add a couple more permissions. Bucket dot. All right. So now that now they could give themselves stuff. Also, since we were on the topic about um, giving all permissions, all right. So say that we have. Say that we gave admin all the B permission um, commands. But maybe we don't want them to have one one permission. So they have a subtracting feature, like other permission plugins. But their subtracting is a, a subtracting sign, like that. The way to subtract on this on B permissions is use uh, up arrow type thing. I'm not sure what you call that, but that's what you use to subtract. And then you type the permission though that you want you don't want them to have so permissions dot oh reload so that way now they can't reload the permissions file and that's how you subtract so now they now they have all the B permissions but not the reload permission if that makes any sense at all so alright now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use uh, prefixes and prefixes and suffixes um, and B permissions like other um, like permission X um, they use a label called prefix like this ignore the red for a moment it, they'll have another prefix or another label that says prefix and they'll have another one that says suffix like uh, permission X but with B permission you just use a permission node so let's do this so the way you do this is you type prefix dot zero I'll explain the number in a second and then you put your prefix with that you want so I'm gonna put guest inside brackets and put a space after it that way there's a space between the rank and the name so now um, you have a prefix that says guest but this prefix will not show up in game without a um, plugin called B Chat Manager, which I'll explain in the next tutorial. Uh, so let's go ahead and down here and add another one to moderator. So prefix dot let's do ten dot uh, mod and then space afterwards. And let's add one to admin as well. Prefix dot twenty dot admin. So now we have three prefixes for each of our ranks. Also, you can add suffixes, which I won't, but I'll show you how to do it. Same way, suffix dot zero dot um, awesomeness. So now that will say off awesomeness after their name. Um, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want a suffix. But you can go ahead and add one if you'd like. Now you're probably wondering, what are these numbers for? Well, um, it identifies which prefix is used when a group uh, uses them. So what I mean by this, uh, so you see group or moderator inherits guess so that means it inherits all both of these permission nodes that means it inherits the prefix node so which prefix will it use well it will use the one with the greater number that meaning it will use the mod instead of the guest that's how you um, identify which one you want to use between the groups so that way and with moderator and admin it inherits guest and mod and since 20 is greater than 10 and 0 it will use the admin prefix instead of the um, mod or guest prefix and it works the same way with suffix as you saw so that's about it for the basic tutorial on B permissions the advanced permission tutorial will be coming very soon 
and we'll be discussing how to set up the WebG UI, which is not fully compatible with the beta, beta version, but I'll be showing you some features of that and also Beach App Manager, how to get your prefixes and suffixes in game, and how I'll show you also how to mirror some worlds. So that's it. Thanks for watching.